Hey everyone, you're with Matthew, you're at the Hub, and you're still in the Matrix. I'm here with Kevin Kling, exploring the notion of superpowers as it relates to trauma, loss, and disability. Um, one of the things we had said in a previous one is, is that about the hero's journey, and, right. and about how something is lost, and yet something will never be the same. And this is part of learning to integrate any kind of trauma or loss or disability in your life has this to it. You integrate what was lost, but you'll, you're never the same. And this paradox is key to all storytelling mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. But I want to talk about an ongoing debate we've had about this paradox where about something being lost, something being gained. So one time I came up to Kevin... And I said, because my friend Patrick told me about this, who's a comic book head, a graphic no novel head, and I, he said to me, G he said, Matt, do you know what the S on Superman's chest stands for? And I said, no. And he said, scared of Batman. So this started a conversation when we teach together. Like sometimes we're under slap, sometimes whatever, and there's a little bit of the dark edge yeah. here. And anyone that's gone through trauma and, and, and loss, there's still the dark edge that we yeah. all carry. And that's part of the healing realization. We could talk about it in another one. But, but that, that this dark edge, the, 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 the Batman part of the, of, of the realization of healing yeah. is a funny one. And I'm going to set this up so you can take it from here. Is that... Is that um, we both decided that we want to live in a world where Superman, the good moral guy, wins. But in fact, we carry the Batman part of us. Mm -hmm. And somehow, Batman and Superman have to merge. Talk about that a little bit. Well, it, yeah, it is that paradox of what's lost is found. I think that, um, it, uh, to me, and I, I, I don't know if this is where you're headed, but it, it is that world that of the shadow and reflection, where when you experience disability, it's um, Dante when he went to the shadow world. It's the world of loss. And all the people down in what they call dis, which was the Latin word for, for hell, for uh, Hades, was that, uh, was that idea of that's where you went for shadow and reflection. And I think anybody that loses anything spends some time in that world, some, in that world of shadow and reflection. But to Dante, he needed that world because he knew you couldn't cure a trauma, any loss, but it can be healed. But it needed to go through that time, that grieving time, as we call it, in shadow and reflection. But what I like, too, is that uh, it was called dis, which is the prefix for disability, which is implicit then that you need to go through shadow and reflection. Uh, when I got my injury, the doctor said, um, it's not if you will suffer depression, it will be when. And so these are my times in the Batcave. And uh, that's when, you know, I'm, I'm waiting. Superman's out there, but he's just going to have to wait for a little bit. Yeah, and that's at the, what, what to me is, is, for me in my experience, what healing is, is that the idea that somehow healing is always stepping into the light right. just isn't no. true. And I think it, it restricts people from recognizing they're on a healing path even when they're having depression. That's a great point. Right. Yep. Grieving is a process. Grieving isn't being stuck. Grieving is moving. It's actually watering the soil. Yeah. That allows the next the next it. Yeah, a lot of yeah. A lot of people think they're stuck in grief. No, when you're grieving, you're on a path. You're mo yeah. You're it moving. Is, you're, it's it's when you're not grieving that you might be more frozen. Mm -hmm. And 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 the thing is about what you don't maybe know in the Superman comics or the Batman comics, I think it's the Batman comics, that in the confrontation between Batman and Superman, um, Batman wins. He actually kills Superman, which you kind of think, like, how could that be, right? And what ends up happening in the comic, basically, to do it way too quickly and too short, is that Batman is able to use Superman's morality against him. So, so he ends up beating him by Batman. Superman tries to save everybody, and then he tries to save him a thing he's going to have to die in and so using the morality against them and that the idea that that when you're here trying to become superman the idea that or that that you're never going to be able to be purely superman to succeed right like they're yeah. in order like because sometimes 
Sometimes when I worry that I've got, you know, I've had conversations, Kevin, about, about where I've been stuck, let's say, in something, and you say, don't, th- it's not that Superman has to win, it's that Superman has to change in order to win. Yeah, I think that Superman doesn't even exist in his own form. Superman's more of the idea that Batman has to adopt. I think it's part of, too, it's a, it, it is part of the healing process that uh, a lot of us think we can go back to the way we were. And that's not the idea at all. You have to move forward in, through, and among the darkness. It's like, that's, that's the thing is that you can't return to what you were. And in fact, you, at a point, you realize you wouldn't want to anyway. I mean, it's, it's, it's again, it's not the Pollyanna view. It's a realistic view when I say, I prefer the person I am now than the one I used to be before my accident. Does that mean I don't want my arm anymore? No. God, I would do, love to have my arm back but I wouldn't want the person I was as much as the person I became. And so it, it really is, there's that paradox. There's that Superman that I carry in my Batman form is that, um, it, is that, that that's still in there. But the idea of Superman, I don't think ever is the physical form. It's what he left to Batman. Yeah, and, and what you have to become in order to go forward. Yeah. You're never going to be pure one or the other. And so that's one of the things that, to me, opens up the healing path for all of us, is when you recognize that you're never, it's never going to be the same as it was before. Mm-mm. Superman, in order to go forward, will have to carry part of Batman. Batman will always have to aspire towards Superman, right? And, and, and it's just one of those simple ways of saying, you know what? Healing's all of the above. And that's one of the things we try to keep pursuing. If you're a curious person, <laughs> there's actually, you kind of can't beat it. <laughs> I mean, if, if things make you curious, boy, this is what you want. It's like, it's such a challenge. And, uh, and yeah, and I'm not really even being flippant about it. I really do mean this has challenged my curiosity. And yeah, and so there's, there's even that aspect. You mean your accident? To it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I would I, say that's exactly right. I mean, I was always... I, and now I have to, like I was telling you, now I have to stand in doorknobs for a while and go, okay, I'm <laughs> going to do this one. You know, am I going to have to take my belt off? What am I going to do here? And, uh, and so as a curious person, it like every day... I'm, There's constantly things like that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> am I going to take my belt off? And quite frankly... Everyone has to ask themselves that story when they're trying to change or transform or make, help the world. You have to wonder, how are you going to do this? Curiosity is one of the great healing elixirs. Yeah. Right? Because curiosity allows you to transcend when it's not going so well. And it also, curiosity helps you accept all that you have to be on the process. Yeah. I had a friend. Batman uh, and Superman. Uh, a friend of mine, a psychiatrist, said he can always tell a healthy man- mind because it's curious and wants to master that which makes it curious. What else you need to know? That's it from The Matrix. And back. All right. If you liked what you saw, there's more coming. To keep up with new releases, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications.